Hello, my name is Brian Duncan. I'm a part of the production staff here at Surge Promotions. I'm also part of the leadership team at Vineyard Community Church here in Richmond, Kentucky. Um, during Eastern Kentucky University spring break, I had the opportunity to go uh, with a group of college students to Guatemala City uh, to be a part of a, a missions team and a support team for a girls' home, uh, Prince of Peace Ministries in uh, Guatemala. While we were there, we uh, basically spent our time um, with the kids that were there, part of the home. They have about 54 girls that are living there, um, all from different uh, backgrounds and situations. Um, but, uh, but our time spent there was literally to love the children that was there. Uh, we had work we had to do. We, we definitely had other things uh, planned for us. Uh, but when you go there, you, you learn really fast that um, your responsibility is to, to love the children first, is to, to be a part of their lives and to um, um, play, do whatever they're doing, uh, get into whatever they're getting into. Um, we, we helped paint some of the, the girls on the trip uh, from the university, painted some walls. Some of the guys, we, we put together some um, trusses for an apartment that's going up for some long-term missionaries. Uh, we built some handrails for uh, the doctor that's on staff down there full time. Um, but like I said, the, the point of our being there was to, to love these girls. They're there from, from different situations, um, some pretty terrible. Um, and, and, but, but the Lord is using uh, that home and, and those girls are being taken care of. And uh, while we were there, um, I got to, to meet a little girl named Alicia. Uh, she's probably about 10 years old. They're not quite sure how old she is because her birthday is unknown. Um, but uh, while there, um, every day, uh, every break that we had, uh, she was looking for me, I was looking for her, uh, to give each other a hug or to play basketball or to, to really just sit and um, just be with one another. I didn't really understand uh, Spanish all that well, although I learned some words and uh, she also speaks a Mayan language called Quiche that I know nothing about um, and she knew very little English but I think what translated between the two of us was um, love for one another, uh, being able to hug her like a daughter, uh, being able to hold her hand as we walk back and forth um, to play soccer or to uh, pick flowers or whatever it was. Um, there's a couple there by the name of Paul and Lana that, uh, that have basically just given their lives to this home and to these girls and to that city. Um, the teams that go there from Richmond and from all across the state and the country are there to support them and to make sure that the ministry that's happening there uh, continues and it's, and it's done well. Um, there's, there's groups from, from all over the place going, uh, people from all over the place helping out. Um, and that's really how that place survives is that the, the outpour of love and, and um, sincerity from the groups that go down there uh, helps keep it going. Um, our, our responsibilities while we're there uh, could, could be anything, um, but the, uh, the point of being there is loving those kids and loving that community. As a result of that, the home itself is able to reach out to the community around them. They've started a couple different um, uh, medical clinics. There's a doctor on staff, him and his wife run the clinics, uh, Jim and Kay. And, um, and they go into the community as well as invite people to the home uh, for, for medical help and medical relief. Um, and as a result of that, the girls' home has become a place of refuge for, for people that just are in need in the community itself. And the girls themselves are now able to reach out uh, from the girls' home uh, to bless the community around them. Uh, they go into Mayan uh, villages up on the hill and they're able to, um, to minister to them by taking them uh, food by taking them uh, medical supplies or any other uh, equipment that may be needed. Uh, and it's the girls that are doing that. Uh, missionary groups uh, come to the home to see the villages, um, but the girls that live there are the ones that are able to turn around and show love and support for the people that live in their communities, um, the people that, um, that they know that they've grown up with. Uh, and so it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful situation uh, to where we as Americans, we go and we help. Uh, but really all we're doing is supporting what's already going on down there. Um, and so if you ever have an opportunity, check it out. Prince of Peace uh, Ministries in Guatemala City. And uh, come by some time. We can share some more about it.